So making it on the list is CRL's Formula 1 Grand Prix which isn't technically a racing game, it's more of a simulation game. A very good representation of Formula 1, I must say. You know, I'm amazed that they acquired the Formula 1 license back then in 85. Or maybe they didn't. I don't think people really gave a shit back then. Game's still under the radar. And the idea of the game was obviously to win the Drivers' and Constructors' Championship. And you would achieve that by picking your driver. Now, you could actually pick the best driver right away, but their budget was so high that it left you no money to improve the car. So even though you had the best driver, you had the worst car on the grid. And it was much more likely there to be technical problems or the driver could crash because the car was so poor. The visual representation of the race hasn't been bettered with the cars flying past the screen. And you always had that dread at moment if you saw your car come past at the bottom of the screen slow because you knew there was a problem and you're like, oh no, what's happened? And if you picked Nigel Mansell to drive for you, it was always an engine fault or it'd blow the tyres out, one of the two. Oh, the sound in this game. You know, they've done a good job for what they had, but oh, the sound on the spectrum. You know, some people could make it seem, but others, oh, it just sounds great and it would just grind through your brain. And you would also have this lovely looking mini game where you actually took control of the pit stop, where you put the wheels on and you put the fuel in the car. All stuff that's missing now from modern Formula One simulation games where it's all automatic. You actually had to do this back then. And about this time, I'm really into my Formula One. And there's my mates. They're all drawing cocks and tits in the inside of their desk. And there's me drawing the lovely curvature of Silverstone and Nigel Mansell's moustache. <laughs> oh dear, what an idiot. Oh, looking back, what a misspent youth, eh? Who was it? I don't know. Yeah, I remember once, there I am, I was a bit of a chubby kid back then. And we always used to do cross country on a Friday. And so I am, I'm bringing up the rear, and right in front of me, there's all the lads and the teacher, and they're all huddled over something. And they found, you know, a filth mag that someone threw in the bush, you know, and it really was bush back then. And if there they are, flicking through the pages. Any 12 year old kid would stop and have a good look with them, you know. But there, no, not me. I'm thinking, right, I need to improve my lap time, you know, get a better lap time than the last one. And for the first time, I might actually win the cross country race. But alas, I done neither. Even at lunchtime, I didn't call it lunch. I called it a pit stop. <laughs> oh dear. And there I am with my curly whirly and my space raiders and my happy shop of can of cola. No wonder I was a fat kid. And how you would actually improve your car is with your sponsorship deals and the money you earn through the races. And then you would upgrade parts of the car which made the durability more or you would just simply improve the parts that you had and the durability would go down much quicker so you would end up spending more money. So the loop was to win money and buy better parts for your car and then improve them slowly. And that was pretty much it. And once you got the gist of it, you kind of win all the time. You know, once you've won it once, that was it because you kind of figured out the formula how to do it and then you'll win it every time. But it's still a fantastic game to today. You know, 30 years later, this game, I don't think it's been better. It's still a fantastic Formula One simulation game. Unfortunately, this game never had, actually had a sequel. I don't know why it didn't have one. It must have sold quite well. And this is the big time when Formula One was huge. You know, you had Senna, Prost and Mansell. So everyone was watching it.